Former doctor in Ontario is using his own difficult and personal experience to provide a different perspective on Canada's opioid crisis. He lost his job, his family, and for a time, his freedom, all because of an addiction to fentanyl made worse by his easy access. CTV's medical specialist, Davis Favaro, on the physician who worked on healing himself and is now trying to help others. <laughs> This is what most people think the opioid crisis is all about. Addicts, most of them homeless, overdosing in the streets. Few imagine this is also the face of this national problem. Daryl Gebbian, an emergency physician who's lost his license because of an out of control addiction to fentanyl. I look back and I'm shocked with my own behavior. Gebbian first became addicted to Percocet after a sports injury. Over the years, his dependence grew. And while working in emergency at the Royal Victoria Hospital in Barrie, Ontario, he started using fentanyl patches to cope with withdrawal. I had cut it up in small pieces and, and um, smoked one small piece of it, and it was just an incredible high. Even worse, he tricked colleagues into giving him medications, forging signatures of fellow doctors while continuing to treat patients. Hard to talk about it because... Uh, People were trusting you. Yeah, so if I was the patient and I knew that my physician was impaired, I'd be pretty upset. Um, on the other side of this, thank God no one uh, was harmed. Gebbin was ultimately caught and charged with 144 counts of forgery and trafficking in a controlled substance. He underwent rehab and has spent eight months in Joyceville Prison, released on parole just before Christmas. Now 48, he's lost everything. You know, my career, my reputation, my marriage. I have geographic separation from my kids right now. They're only they're five, six, and nine. I put my in-laws through hell. I put my parents through hell. Now clean for three years, Gebbian says he wants to help other addicts. There's uh, construction workers, other manual laborers, doctors, dentists, news anchors, like people from all walks of life. And it's the one, it's the addicts out there that we don't know about. That's the real problem. But most, he says, face an unacceptable three to six month wait for treatment. No quick access to, to detox or rehab. So that needs, that's why we really treat the opioid crisis. And Gebbian, who now lives with his father, wants to rebuild his life and hopefully get his medical license back. You want to be a doctor again? Yes, I do. Why should we trust you? I believe people deserve a second chance, um, especially if they're open and honest and candid and willing to accept responsibility. And he hopes to learn later this year if the Ontario College of Physicians will allow him to get back to emergency medicine. Lisa? What a compelling interview, Avis. What are his chances, though, of, of being reinstated and ever getting back in the ER? Well, he's going to have to make his case. And if they do accept him back, he'll have to have monitors at the, on the job and also regular urine testing, which he will do. Um, he's also still in therapy. But even if he doesn't get to be a doctor again, um, he says that really he wants to be an advocate, a face for the opioid crisis, because having lived it, he has clear ideas on how to solve it. All right. Valuable insight. All right, Avis, thanks for this tonight.